What's up guys, Coconut Freaks here, back with another video for you guys. Today we are doing a little off-trailing to a really interesting rock formation that we found online. It's kind of weird. It says that it's a state park, but you have to enter through private property to get to it. So I'm kind of scared right now, but it's a short hike. So hopefully it's pretty cool. Anyways, the reason why we're out here is because we are doing a little weekend camping trip at Shawnee National Forest Crab Orchard Lake. As soon as we leave here, we're gonna head to a um, campsite and it should be a great weekend of camping. So I'll get back to you guys once we get up this hill. Oh, that's sweet. I'm here with that boy, <laughs> Seb. Five minutes in, we're already lost. We found someone's like cabin or something. It doesn't look like anyone's here, so I don't really know. Supposedly the rock formation's over there. The, the map we're using shows a road that goes in, but no sign of a road anywhere. Alright guys, so we still haven't found the road yet. Been hiking for probably about 30 minutes, still haven't found the road. But we're coming up on our first sign here, so we're gonna read what this says. What does that mean? Well, I think we found it. Yes, sir. Just found it. You see that mound up there? Right, guys made it to the top Summited. some pretty cool rock formations here you can see I'll try to show you guys here uh, but it looks like oh look there's a writing hotel who is hotel I'm gonna be really careful here but you can see this mother just drops off all right guys we're about to the base of this thing Pretty impressive, honestly. We're in the middle of nowhere in Illinois. Check this out in three, two, one. Holy crap. That is a pretty large rock. Pretty big. Quick little pit stop here. Saw this abandoned gas station on the way out. Let's see what it looks like inside. Jesus. I think that had a little bit of damage here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right guys, we are out of here. We uh, need to get to Walmart, get to the campsite. It's daylight savings and the sun sets during lunch break now, so Sebastian wants to go behind it and see what's behind the place. But yeah, we need to uh, get to Walmart so we can uh, get to the campsite. I'll see you guys soon. All right guys, we are at the campsite, getting everything unloaded here, getting a fire going. We got some ribbies here. Look at that smoke color. Yeah. These were sitting on the smoker for five hours. These were about four in the foil. These are going to be sp spicy. These are going to be more maple syrup flavor, but we shall see. We shall see. The next day. All right, guys. Good morning. Today is Saturday morning. Just woke up about 30 minutes ago. We are at the campsite here. Seb is over here starting this fire. Turn this around. Now you guys can actually see the lake. It's gonna be a beautiful day.
Nice little drink to wake me up this morning. Pretty tired. Didn't sleep very well last night. So this morning, once I get this fire going, we're gonna get a bed of coals and we're gonna cook some eggs, bacon, bagel, sammies. Then we're gonna go on some hikes today. Got some sub sammies and some chips. And then for dinner, we're having spaghetti. What's up, guys? Um, got one batch of bacon done so far. Working on the second. Yep. Cheers, guys. There we go, guys. Uh, Sammy's are getting done. Easy, yeah. You got the knife? Yeah, I guess. Let me set something on top of that. So. Alright, guys. So we've reached our first hike of the trip. Apparently, Sebastian said that this is Illinois' biggest and tallest waterfall. We don't really get a lot of waterfalls in the Midwest, so this will be pretty interesting. I've never been here before, so... Yep, we're on this little hiking trail, and we'll be there soon. Well, it's supposed to be flowing, but... It is flowing a little bit. A little bit of the flow. We haven't had any rain in, like, seven months, so... Too much water to drink. We gotta go. I didn't even think about it, I guess. Drink. Yeah, I found a shortcut, guys. What the? Pretty cool. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Whoa. What is that? It's a pipe. It's the Mario pipe. Bunch of bats up there. I can hear them. You're gonna attack. Okay, guys. So we have made it to our next destination. There is supposed to be a natural tunnel, devil's backbone, and a spring somewhere. We're gonna find here. First things first. Check this out. Lots of really cool rocks in this area. Huge rocks. What's over here? A hutui. One hutui. All right, guys, we're coming up on it here. Ooh, this is pretty cool, actually. Check this out. Now, we're at the top of the natural arch. Jeez. Alright guys, it's lunch time. Lunch time. Oh, we found him, dude. Oh. There's just like a rat in there. <laughs> I'm 
Everything Check this out, guys. Look at this freaking school bus. Ford. Found out it's a Ford motor. Alright guys, so we are currently on our way to a cave. And apparently, according to all trails, it's a pictograph cave. So there's going to be some cool drawings in this cave, hopefully. We are trying to find it now. What, if, what would you say, probably a half mile away? We'll see. Alright guys, we're getting closer. We're off the main trail now. Seb's phone says we're almost here, so... Getting close. I think we just found it. Now... It's time to find the pictographs. Yeah. I say, um, dude, that's actually really cool. Live on video, guys. Look at that. See a little dog? And some kind of like, looks like Saturn or something. There's another one up there. Man, that looks so dark in the video. Check that one out. Seb spotted a big one over here. Let's see. Yeah, he says it's fake, but I don't know. I think that's spray paint. I mean, I can see how it could be spray paint, but I don't know why it. I feel like if it was spray paint, there'd be stuff everywhere, you know. Yeah, that's fair. Wish I had a sifter and a shovel. This is probably a really, really, really good spot to find arrowheads. I mean, this is a crazy shelter. This would have been like perfect to live in. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this. It's like a mini camp scalpel thing. <laughs> On our way back now. Next destination is Walmart again. And then we'll be at the campsite. We're gonna make spicy spaghetti tonight. I'm so excited and I'm already getting pretty hungry, so should be pretty yummy. What? Watch out for the poop. Oh, there's some poop here? All right, guys, we made it to the campsite just in time to see the sunset. I was thinking that we weren't going to make it in time, but... I delivered. Sebastian delivered after a full day of stuff to do. Now it's time to make some spaghetti. Yeah, we got to get the fire going. I've got to get changed and get all warm because I'm freezing because it's kind of dropping down the temp a lot. First <laughs> oh. <laughs> Early the next morning. What's up guys? Oh, just woke up. It's 36 degrees. We've got to get up here and build a fire and um, get breakfast going so we can get on the road for another awesome day of hiking. Alright guys, good morning. We are up and out of the tent. Seb has started this fire here. Let's see if I can... Alright guys, we are back and we got a really cool tower here. Look at this.
Here it is, guys. Devil's stand table. We are on another little hike here to see some more rocks. I hope you guys love rocks because this whole video has pretty much been about rock formations in Illinois. So, hope you guys like rocks. All of Mason's viewers right now are falling asleep. <laughs> All right, that's pretty cool. Just kidding, that's the mid one. This is the real one. Oh. Okay, so we just went through this crack. But over here, there's a freaking another one, except this one's even wider. This is natural rock that just somehow made a passageway through this. Isn't it so weird? Pretty cool stuff. Huh? Nature trail. What's in there? This is cool. This is like the Maze Runner. 1878. I mean, look at this. 1897. 1897. Wow. 185. That cannot be. What's up, guys? Just chilling here in the car. Got a nice little lake behind in front of me. Sebastian wanted to go look at a spillway over there, but with my ankle injury I had about two months ago. A lot of off trailing and I didn't really want to deal with that right now. So I'm just chilling here with some oh snap uh, hottie bites. Let's do a little review here. Pickle. Really spicy and really crunchy. Overall W purchase. Great purchase. I think it was like three bucks. We're at Scratch Brewery, guys. Apparently this place gets all their stuff from scratch. Foraging plants and herbs. And we got a honey beer and a strawberry beer, so we're gonna try it. Do a review. All right, well, I think the honey is gonna be a little bit lighter. So I'll probably go with that one first. All right, give it a test. That's really good. All right. Thank you. Sweet. Let me try it. Should have done It's pretty good. Pretty sweet. Pretty good. I'd say that one's eight out of 10. This is a strawberry rhubarb beer. So that's a sour. If you've had a sour, but uh, it's tough because that one's sweet and that one's sour. So, um, God, <laughs> my God, <laughs> you can have the honey one, not the sour. <laughs> not bad though. Not bad. <laughs> Got a flight. Pizzas are out. Alright guys, I'm finally home after the three hour drive home. I'm showered. Got all my footage from this trip up on the computer and I'm about to start editing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell button if you're wanting to see more videos from Coconut Freaks. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.